Pope Leo IX drew together an army from across Italy and parts of Germany to confront the Normans in southern Italy. The Pope's Chancellor, Frederick of Lorraine, brother of Duke Gerard of Lorraine, was the commander of the Papal Army. His brother, the Duke, contributed a group of 700 or so Swabian German swordsmen led by Werner and Albert. A host of local magnates from Apulia, Gaeta, Campania and other, and other pro-popal regions also sent men to fight the Normans. The future of the Normans in southern Italy depended upon Humphrey de Hauteville, Count of Apulia and Calabria, and his men defeating the Papal Army before they could combine with the Byzantines. The Papal Army took a circuitous route to Siponto due to Norman force build in the direct path. Humphrey and his Normans intercepted the Papal army at Civitate. The two armies formed the battle. The year is 1053 and this is the Battle of Civitate. Hi guys, I'm James, this is Winter Quartering, today we're gonna play the Battle of Civitate with the newest title, the newest chapter in the series of Men of Iron. We're talking about Norman conquests, conflicts of the Normans and their successors. Uh, look at this beautiful art, uh, the cover of this game. Uh, let's have an overview of the map, uh, no particularly special terrains, we have a river, a stream, uh, here, which is crossable and gives a uh, uh, minus one on the fire when uh, shocking the combat across it. We have uh, some hedge slopes, uh, but uh, I think uh, we will never uh, use them. Because the Normans, they have three battles. Uh, the Battle of Humphrey, Otterville, the Count of Aversa and the Giscard. Uh, two battles for the Papal Army. The Normans will be the time side in the scenario, specifically it starts at 10. Then we have a very low threshold on the flight point track. The Popal Army will break at 12 and we have a value of 15 for the Normans. The Normans are in white. I like the woods better. <laughs> but that's because I can't find the markers, the counters <laughs> also. Then we have a special rule. In fact, the battle of the Giscard isn't immediately available to activate. After every free activation, this marker, Giscard Relay, will decrease by one. When it reaches zero, it will be available to activate. That's because initially it was kept as a reserve battle. The Norman will have the initiative, so I think the tactical challenge here is try to have a good charge and create a great momentum in the first turn I may try to activate both the battles uh, since they have uh, a all mounted uh, basically a all mounted force versus a all foot force they don't have ca any cavalry we need to have a great charge with the normans to increase our the possibilities to win the scenario for them and they will try to uh, resist and absorb uh, as much uh, damage as possible uh, from the first charge and then try to counter attack uh, the, the normal knights. I think this is the tactical key of the battle. 
So let's start activating Humphrey of Apulia, which is the overall commander. So then we can have the bonus with its effectiveness value, which is minus one, to activate hopefully also Aversa and charge uh, with both the battles. So the first thing is to decrease the Giscard delay, since it's uh, decreased every time we have a free activation before taking it. First, we're gonna move this archer one, two, three, four, five, and try to uh, shot just to try to weaken this point. A seven is ordered. Let's move the guys three, they have six, four. The goal is to try to have as many charges as possible. And also, this one here, okay, shock phase. Let's then declare the charges. So, this one here, we have to roll for reluctance. It's a four, perfect. So, roll this one. It's a 3, perfect, minus 1, it's a 2. We have also this. Let's try to charge this archer here. We have a uh, re reaction fire. 3 plus 1, it's a 4. The target is unmounted, it's not effect. We're very lucky here. Now let's uh, resolve those combats. Uh, let's start with this one. We have a plus 3, the hero modifier. And a plus 1 for the leader in charge. So it's plus four. Then the weapon matrix, uh, we have a, another uh, plus three for the archer against the mountain man at arms. We have plus seven minus one because uh, we moved, and plus one for the charisma. So we have a plus seven. It's a nine. Fantastic. Uh, on the charge combat result, uh, defender disordered, retreat uh, one hex, and attacker continues attack. Let's see this one. We have a zero, we have a, a minus one because it's a dismounted man at arms, and a neither minus one because we moved before charging, so it's a minus two. It's another nine! <laughs> Amazing! Amazing! Uh, but this one, uh, this time is disordered, so it's uh, defender eliminated and the continued attack. Three points uh, for the uh, flight point track, because it was a uh, uh, marked arms, so we must maintain the facing uh, follow on. We have a minus one, a minus one, minus one, we have a, a minus th three. Minus three. Wow. So, uh, attacker disorder, and here we have a minus two. It's a nine, it's a seven. So it's a defender disordered and retreat one hex. So what do you want to do? Maybe here. Those are engaged. Now it's a continue attack time. This one, nothing because there's anybody in its frontal hexes. So this time we have a plus four. Then we have a plus three because it's an archer. And so it's a seven, eight because of the charisma. Eight minus one, continue attack. It's a plus seven on the shock table. It's a defender eliminated and continue attack. So another two points this time in the flight point track. The normals are having a great time here. Now let's try to move count of Aversa and attempt a continuation. I forgot to mention the uh, seizure markers. The normals at four and the Popular Army start with three. They were very unlucky because uh, they didn't get any seizure opportunity, but they had a seizure negation, so they have no possibility to react at the discharge and it would be very difficult for them. So let's try to activate Aversa with a, a four or less. We are not enraged from our commander, which is five for one hex and uh, so uh, we can benefit from its uh, effectiveness value so four or lower it's a four fantastic for the normals <laughs> one two three four this seems to be the weakest spot since uh, they have the uh, lowest uh, armor value let's try also one two three change facing this way can shoot uh, also in our flanks, not the rear. Let's try to shoot uh, at the leader here, the unit with the leader. So you, we have a zero modifier, shooting from two hexes away. The so two, nothing. Okay, seems fair. Okay, we are ready. Tempt our charges. This one will charge here. No reaction fire from the flanks. Oh, this one seems uh, dangerous. Let's try. We need to be lucky. It's a two plus one modifier, it's a three, but we are lucky, it's nothing, no effect. We successfully charge. We have to test for the reluctance, two, perfect. And let's test here for the reluctance. 
to two, perfect. So here, but uh, we need to check the reaction fire. It's a nine. Unhorsed, they got uh, our horse, and this needs to be resolved as a shock attack. Let's start here. We have a, a plus two, a minus one because we moved. So we have a plus one. It's a seven, it's an eight, uh, plus one. Disorder, either. retreat, uh, one hex, and attacker continues attack. Uh, let's uh, resolve the, the shock. So we have uh, a minus two, I mean disorder, uh, the plus one. So we have a minus one, and we have another minus one because it's a horse attacking a uh, pikeman, so it's a zero, uh, which is attacker disordered and retreat one hex. Charging this archer, we have a plus three, another plus three from the weapon matrix, plus six, plus seven, the charisma, plus eight, charging with the leader, another plus four for charging both sides, uh, another plus one for strength advantage, so it's the mask. We don't need to roll anything. So apply the maximum. Defender disordered. Retreat one X. Continue attack. So resolve the continued attack. This one first. Plus two for being in the flank. Plus one for pikeman. So it's a plus three. And a plus one for the charisma. Minus one for the continued attack. So it's a plus three. Defender disordered and retreat one hex. We must advance. We need to check for uh, the death of the leader. If it's wounded, zero, no, it's fine. We have another continued attack here. So we have a plus three and a minus one. We have a plus two. So we eliminated the continued attack again. Okay, let's try at this point to activate again uh, uh, our friend uh, Oteville of Apulia as a uh, 4, but we have a plus 1. I think the Popal Army turn. So I think we try to save this leader and activate this battle. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Reaction fire here. The plus 1. This is over. Let's declare the shock. Okay, we have a possibility counter charge here, immediately, let's try it, it's uh, successful, so they will have uh, a minus two, let's also try to counter charge here, it's successful, okay, let's start uh, our fight, first this one, we have a plus two, then we have another plus two for the weapon matrix, and then a minus two for the being disorder, so it's a plus two. A 1 plus 2, it's a disaster, I think. It's a attacker disorder, so nothing happens. It's 1 versus this 1. We have a plus 1 for the charisma, minus 2 for being disordered, so it's a minus 1. <laughs> and a plus 1 for attacking this 1, so it's a plus 0. 7, 7 is a great result. In fact, it's retired. We can't advance because we are disordered. So we have a counter charge, which is a minus 2. We have another minus 1 for uh, attacking mountain man at arms. So it's a minus 3. A disaster. A disaster. Attacker disordered. Retreat 1 hex. We have a minus 2 for the counter charge. Minus 1 for attacking mountain man at arms. But a plus 1 because we are strong advantage. Minus two. Disaster. <laughs> Disaster. Put one X and disorder it. <laughs> okay, and that was a complete uh, disaster. We have to, to roll. We have to roll for the flight point track. Uh, and every roll is half the rounded up in this scenario. So we have uh, the normals in white. Uh, a plus four, but yeah, they are currently at zero. And yeah, roll a zero. Let's try to activate uh, Werner Battle, which is uh, one, two, three, four. No, it's not in range. We need a, a, a three. A three. We got a three. Very nice. Uh, let's try to take out this one. Uh, maybe one, two, three. Let's shot at uh, uh, Onfrey. A oh, one. Well, nothing. Let's shoot here with a plus one. It can't counter charge because it started. The activation adjacent to enemy units with a plus one. yes and this one is unhorsed unhorsed and very nice so we have uh, the shock and also this we have we have two because they are engaged so we have uh, a plus one and from the weapon magic another plus one then uh, we are also uh, in the flank it's a plus four 
It's great, plus four is uh, eliminated and continued attack also, but uh, there's nobody. These are plus three for flight point track. Uh, we need to shock down by this one, so we have uh, zero. We have a plus one for the charisma of the leader. Wow! eliminated and they can also advance and it's a, a continued attack no reaction fire in advance of the combat so we have a minus one but also a plus four and plus five zero plus four is a four and uh, no result no result wow let's uh, play a seizure opportunity for the normans one this one we can shoot here it is disordered and we have a plus one. Wow, a nine. Okay, it's the maximum. And it's eliminated. Very nice. Guys, this card delay is at zero now. So then we can potentially evade it. They need to check for his leader casualty. And it's killed. We killed Frederick of Lorraine. They got a replacement, next activation. So now the purpose that was that now Aversal is free to charge. So, uh, shock phase, complete our charges. This one here, the shock combat. We could one and one. Let's resolve this one. Uh, plus two. It will be the move before charging. It's a nine. Uh, fantastic. <laughs> also continued attack. Then we have the count of Aversa. Plus one for charisma, another plus one for the leader being in charge, another plus two here. So let's roll, it's a four, it's eliminated, <laughs> and also a continued attack. I need to resolve the other fights because uh, without the help of Giscard, the Pobal army already reached its uh, flight uh, point track uh, threshold. So let's uh, pass the activation roll for the for adding points uh, to the flight point track. Uh, remember that uh, uh, the Norman Savo also has uh, one retired unit, so it's one point more. Half the result, so it's plus one. Rounded up, it's a plus three. One, two, three. The only army that reached uh, the flight point uh, through the shoulder, it's the popular army. The Norman win the day, win the battle. So guys, this is all from Civitate. I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. This was Norman Conquest, uh, Conflicts of the Normans and their successors. Uh, system originally designed by Richard Berg. This one is uh, from Ralph Shelton. I was James. This was Winter Quartering. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy board war games. Until the next one, have a good one. Bye guys. So